Hey Richard, it's Logan Stout here at Perkins Motorplex in Mayfield, Kentucky on a really windy day, really windy but beautiful fall day here. Uh, gonna walk around this Honda Odyssey, uh, give you an idea of where I'm at. There's one of our reconditioning facilities that does uh, a lot of our cleanup work. There's another one over there. You can see a delivery truck loading up there. Uh, I'm behind the scenes right now. That American flag way off in the distance is uh, where our traditional lot is located. But we've got inventory that goes all the way up the hill back there. Uh, this is the headquarters of Perkins Motorplex. So this is where a lot of our resources are. And uh, yeah, this is that Odyssey. We're gonna walk around it front to back, top to bottom, inside and out. Uh, let you get a good look at it. Uh, first thing I noticed, the wheels and tires, uh, that wheel is perfect. We see a lot of curbing and scraping on these uh, on you know van wheels, uh, and the tires are brand new Michelin tires, 100% tread. You can still see some of the factory markings on there. Awesome. Make sure that the other two are in just as good a shape. That one certainly is. There's a little bit on that wheel. On that wheel, I was gonna say. Usually, there's at least some, and we got a little bit more on this one right here. Just a light scratch. That one's not sharp and chunked and all that stuff yet, but you see a little bit. That's certainly below below average uh, in a good way. Much less scraping than normal. All right, so let's go driver's side. I always look for. You know, I want to look right down the body line. I'm looking for waviness in the paint or major ding scratches, anything like that. This side is great. I'll be as picky as I can. I always tell people though, like <clears throat> all of our vehicles are used. None of them are going to be perfect. Uh, so there's going to be some scratches on it, no doubt. They all get grace here. There's going to be some scratches. Whether I catch every last one, you know, probably not. There may be one or two that I miss, but I should catch the major ones. <clears throat> that side looks great. Across the front, you're gonna see a couple little rock packs, of course, but not as much as you normally would on the front there. That looks good. A little spot there underneath the headlight. Fog lights look good. That black grill, those plastic pieces look good. A little spot down there, that's to be expected. So, so far, so good. Look at that. Just the those top body lines there. Nice and clean both ways. Really good. Little spot there on the side mirror. That's just dust. Man, I don't want to oversell it because that's the last thing I want to do on a used vehicle course. But there's certainly nothing major. This this one, uh, this is great so far. All right, across the back hatch, little spot there. Got a couple spots on the back bumper. Spot there. Nice scratch through there, lit up in the sun. <laughs> if if the sun wasn't behind me, that wouldn't look quite as lit up, but uh, it would still be there for sure. <clears throat> so a couple of spots on the back bumper. That's about all I got. <clears throat> so that is great. All right. Uh, there's one more. Let's see if I can catch this before. Well, so we know the power lift gate works. Let's catch this right here, right above that tail light. Little spot there. Paint looks great, though. You can see it sparkling in the sun there. <coughs> All right, so you got your carpet floor mats back here, but you're gonna see these really nice OEM Honda floor mats all throughout. It's got the vacuum system, which is great. I love that, love that idea. Um, I don't think it's particularly very strong on all of the Honda vans I've seen with that. So it's not something I would fall in love with, but it does take care of some minor stuff if you needed to. I think the uh, motor for it is right there. Sidewalls look good. That third row, I was checking that out a second ago. Really nice. You got your sunscreens back here. And of course you got your magic seat where you can hold the, hold the strap and it'll fold flat. Or you can let go of the strap, which I love to do, and have it sit like that 
and then it becomes a couch. These become your headrest, or I'm sorry, your footrest. And you sit there and you can watch a drive-in movie or post up there for um, a tailgate or something like that. That is a really cool Honda feature that I've come to like. We did that on Odyssey. We owned a lot, but if you hang on to the handle, you get past that spot and you can push it all the way flat. It does go all the way flat. It's just got these parking floor mats in there. So sidewalls look amazing. This is great. Let's see if I can do a little sunscreen check there. Those are great. Awesome. Charging ports, everything back here. So far, so good. Power doors work on both sides. Check that out. All right, so this is the coolest thing Honda's maybe ever done in these vans. This middle row comes out. You probably know this. This middle seat comes out. You can store it in your garage if you want. But then this slides side to side. So you can actually take this, this end seat, make it the middle seat, and have a nice clear aisleway right here. You can take this out and have the aisleway in the middle if you want. Obviously, you can do it the other way. Or you can leave it in and have an extra seat. And there is a spot. I just noticed this from where I was standing. A little scrape on the sidewall there. That's a little bit more of what you'd expect to see. Uh, sunscreen here. Great. Let's check this one. Great. Got your uh, rear DVD player, rear entertainment. Maybe headphones in here, but I always say buy new ones. Yeah, those look pretty good. Um, yeah, I always encourage people. These, these are Sonar headphones. Uh, they pair very easily, and they're very cheap on Amazon. They're not, not expensive at all, so... I always tell people to buy new ones, but you can use those for the time being if you need to. Seat backs look good. Charging ports, everything back here is great. Again, really nice floor mats. No rips or tears in the leather anywhere that I could find. It's great. We'll do under the hood here in a second to finish it. Let me get to the driver's seat. sound system's working of course you got uh navigation probably gonna want a map update on that at some point uh but the beauty is you got android auto and apple carplay so it will sync uh your navigation on your phone and just kind of mirror it there which is an absolute game changer in my mind storage underneath a little divider tray in there owner's manual yes everything we want to see so far we're great wireless phone charger also not super impressed by these uh it seems like whether it's toyota honda chevy ford gmc all of these are giving people fits eventually so it'll just be a storage tray at some point uh not something that any of the manufacturers warranty either because they know how quickly they go out being as picky as I can here. Everything is intact. Awesome. I love it. And it smells great. Doesn't smell like smoke, animal, anything like that. Um, no lights on, just the low fuel light. We don't, we intentionally don't like having lots of fuel just sitting on the lot. Obvious reasons, multiple reasons. area i'm least familiar i always tell people i don't know an alternator from a radiator so i'm the last guy to pick apart an engine bay but i can look through and look for signs of excessive rust or corrosion anything like that and you can see just how absolutely spotless this inside is super clean all your connections all the way through look great nothing out of the ordinary awesome Battery's kind of hidden in here. And quick look at the frame. More of the same. Super clean, super nice. Let me know what other questions you have. 
again we sell used cars none of them are perfect and i don't ever want to oversell it but at the same time not a whole lot for me to point out on this one very very pleased with it